I'm popping on because I wanted to share this gold mine that I just found from Publix. So if you live somewhere where it doesn't have Publixes, I'm sorry. But this is essentially a watermelon salad. The combination of flavors, unforgettable, okay? We got watermelon, cucumber, feta, lime wedges. There's some blueberries and blackberries on top, but then they have mint, mint on top. The combination, wild, wild. And before you ask, yes, the price is outrageous. That is so good. Let me squeeze some a little bit of lime on that boy. Mm. Mm hmm. I've actually seen on TikTok where people were squeezing lime juice and lemon juice on watermelon. Now I understand why. And the mint is such a like you wouldn't think it would make that big of a difference to the flavor, but it does. Mm. I also got a pub sub, but I wanted to share this because this is a little bit more unique. But this thing was like 10 bucks. So please continue to rob me to eat some fruit that grows from the earth for free. Like uh, gathering my thoughts in the parking lot as I sit in my car before I go to the gym. It's just a way to organize my thoughts, know what I'm going to hit when I go in there. But I wanted to talk a little bit about if I'm going to be competing again. I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering and I kind of haven't talked about it because I really don't know. You know, after my last show, you can imagine how aesthetically focused you have to be when you're competing in bodybuilding. You are shaping and sculpting your physique in order to be judged physically. It's a very physical sport. It requires a lot of energy spent in this 3D physical realm, just like shape-shifting essentially. But I just really feel like I needed time to spend not being so aesthetically focused. Almost like at a deeper level, I just wanted, I was craving more depth. Um, something, I don't want to say more meaningful because I think no matter what you're doing, if you're passionate about it, there's a purpose for it. Or it's playing a, a meaningful part in your life. I think I was going through a lot of, a different kind of transformation. Clearly bodybuilding is a part of physical transformation mastery but it's really just focusing on my internal world and I was just going with what felt really good and in doing that going through that process like my eyes uh not my physical eyes but my perception changed a little bit about the sport kind of and I've just been kind of waiting to see how it's going to evolve I used to love the look of bikini back in the day and it's evolved right it just continues to change and grow and I think I started to recognize that I wasn't in favor of what bikini was starting to look like and I had to like really sit down and think if I wanted to take my body that far um and the desire was just gone, you know, it, it's not like, it's, it's like I wanted to do it, you know, when you want to do something, but then the fire is gone a little bit, and I think that was a big indicator that um, I needed to pull back 
focus on other things while I was going through this, you know, massive transformation on the inside. And I didn't, I just went with it. I think if I were to force myself to go against that feeling and compete, uh, even though I, you know, lacked that, um, that same desire, what happens is it starts to wear on your commitment and your ability to commit to the process. It, it's all about the details with bodybuilding, right? You can't leave any stone unturned, especially once you become a pro. You're competing against, you know, a huge variety of physiques that all look amazing. It's, it's almost like the sparkle of um, the bikini look for me kind of started to diminish. And yeah, I hope that that kind of explains it in a, in a good way. I, I really haven't spoken about it because there's been no finality to if I would compete again or not. But that's kind of the thought process and the emotional process of how I felt over the past year, year and a half of kind of taking a break. So I'm going to continue to let that unfold. But in the meantime, you know, your girl's still out here getting her training in. I've really been enjoying listening to my body and eating when I want to eat, recovering when I want to recover. With bodybuilding, again, it's, it's very forced in a way where you have to hit a certain volume of training each week. You have to hit these, these um, calorie targets. And those are, that's a necessary protocol in order to hit a physiological goal. But you can't do that forever. There is going to be an expiration date on your ability to sustain low calorie and perform high volume training program. And you have to listen to that, okay? We're not robots. Our bodies can't be performative forever like that. So I made sure to reverse diet properly after I finished my contest prep. And then I switched to more of intuitive eating and it's been really awesome. Once your hunger hormones start to regulate themselves out and you're not always feeling ravenous and extremely uh, hungry and not able to feel satiety, you're able to listen more to your hunger cues. You wouldn't be able to do intuitive eating as soon as you got out of fat loss because your hunger hormones are artificially high. They're not regulated back to normal yet. And so after some time, I switched to more intuitive eating. Um, I do try to hit my protein targets uh, every day. Um, but I rely more on my hunger cues and it feels so good. It really does because there's, there's nothing forced about it. And you can kind of just listen to your body. It's the complete opposite of <laughs> the protocol it takes to change to change physically. So I hope that answered that question and I'll keep you guys up to date on how things transpire and if anything else changes. But until then, thank you for coming along with me on this journey. I think it's going to be very exciting. I think there's a lot of exciting things to come and so we'll see how they unfold. Let's get this workout.